Bywater is making headway with the setting up of its operations in Parakeeta Bay. The company is on its way and moving to extend pipes out to the sea in the Parakeeta Bay area after contending with lengthy delays and encountering difficulties in finding a viable water source. Sean Rose has more. Bywater BVI Limited has had some challenges finding an adequate source of water underground here in Parakeeta Bay in its bid to meet its July 2011 contractual agreement with the Virgin Islands government. Director of Bywater BVI Limited Richard Smith says accessing water directly from the sea will guarantee a reliable source for the plan to produce potable water when operation begins. One thing for sure, the sea, sea will not dry up. It's a very good water source. The, the uh, water testing that we undertook in, the, uh, in Drake's channel proved to be a very very good uh, source for raw seawater. The process here in desalination does require additional process um, because it's um, with a borehole you, you have less filtration. Bywater recently received permission from government to access water from the sea in Parakeeta Bay. We had to get cabinet approval for the um, seabed, the use of seabed lease as it's described and the discharge consent for the brine. What had happened uh, Two Wednesdays ago was that the cabinet met and granted us access right of way for that, for the pipeline through Paragita Bay Lagoon out to sea. So that's where we are at the moment and we're undertaking survey work which we've now completed of the, both the sea locations and of the lagoon along with the land route for the proposed pipelines. According to Smith, the plant is 70% complete and they are now awaiting permission to begin excavation to lay pipes along the roadway to the sea access point located somewhere between Hodges Creek and the entrance to the HLSCC. Water will come through and run along Blackburn Highway across this field here under the gut to a pump station that's in the compound that's to be built. That's, planning, that's what we're waiting on planning permission. That pump station will feed the raw water supply into the RO hall. For this plant, it's a 2.3 million gallon per day facility, which complements the existing facilities on the island. Projections of population and, and demand have shown that there is insufficient capacity on the island as we speak today. The production of water by, by water will in no way affect the other supplies on the island. Correct. We don't disenfranchise anybody on this island. That's, that was important. I mean, that's one of the misconceptions, perhaps, that came across. It was we felt as though I think people probably felt that we were then taking over the whole water supply. Uh, we're not doing that. I say we are complementing. There is a shortage of water on the island, and as a, an old expression, it's better to have more, more eggs in your basket than just one one main main uh, supplier. So with all the alternative, it's uh, alternative. Um, desalination plants on island this complements it. This is a major part of the of the of the of the water infrastructure. It all goes from Parakeeta Bay into Sabbath Hill where we have constructed a new storage tank to complement the existing one. That's that construction we are seeing going up the hill. Up the hill there's a there's a ten thousand foot long pipeline, twelve inch pipeline running all the way from Parakeeta Bay all the way up to Sabbath Hill. And uh, the old tank is out of commission it was leaking uh, under our contract we we're going to reline it and repair all the leaks the new tank was put into service last august and that's where the water supply for uh, the upper part of rotan has been taking its water how much time do you think you need before you actually begin supplying the um it all requires the consents the government to finish all their uh, consent approvals so under the under the agreements, uh, the discussions that have taken place with the ministers and uh, with the uh, Attorney General is that we're looking at eight months from the last consent approval. And that could be the planning authority uh, together with other, with other consents that have to be done. So we are, you know, it's an open answer I'm afraid because it depends on the, on the process. I asked him about the likely implications for the marine environment in the area when production begins. Bywater have undertaken up to seven environmental studies to date and we have also done a brine study of the, of the discharge to ensure that there is no 
impact and the results of that study have shown and have been written and concluded by independent engineers that the, uh, there is no substantial environmental impact. The new Parakita Bay plant is a $45 million capital project, $25 million of which was invested by the UK-based company Bywater. Sean Rose, JTV News.